batteries, uh, especially the lead-acid batteries that we have, um, from creation, they are always decaying. So over a one-year to you know five-year period, um, fortunately, the batteries do uh, reduce in capacity and life. Yep. And um, when you do install a new battery system, especially if you are mixing batteries, it is very recommended to get the same uh, Manufacturer type, time, yeah. make type, make sure they're, they're, they're twins. That's exactly Basically, right. they've exactly got to right. be identical twins. That's right. There you go. Oh, uh, you're not going to get another, uh, <laughs> another cooler, stubby. mate. <laughs> I'm not chasing another stubby cooler. Stubby cooler. Uh, yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lithium batteries, have you guys got into that yet, or are you waiting uh, for it to become a bit more commonplace before no. you invest the money? Per perfect timing. Yeah, we actually have just um, released a lithium battery charger range uh, in a 25 amp and a 40 amp model. What? What's a lithium battery and what's, right. what's the alternative? Oh, yeah, so current, <laughs> currently batteries are really heavy and that's because we've been using lead-based lead -based batteries. So yeah. uh, lead, lead batteries, you might have heard of um, AGM, um, calcium, they're, they're still a lead battery and they've got lead in the plates and, and the construction. Very so, heavy. Very heavy. Uh, lithium is a new type of technology, so it's not using lead. Cool. Uh, and lithium, and you might have heard of ions, yep. a, a lithium ions. That's, my wife uses them. No, yeah, a little bit different. These are almost like a nuclear reaction type. We're going down to the you know, electron level. Right. And these little ions is involved in the chemistry transfer for lithium. So we don't need an acid anymore. So the battery and is not made of a liquid right. like, like our conventional batteries. So the batteries don't deteriorate. So the, the lead acid battery, although very expensive at the moment, yep. um, will have a very long lasting lifespan. We, we might be talking 10 to 20 years, they're quoting. Wow. And so the, that's the future, yeah? That's right, and, but they are definitely not the same as lead acid. So they do need a unique charger. Uh, you can't use your existing charging equipment. You will need to look at a, a definitely lithium-based charger. Yep. I yeah, fantastic. It deserves a second. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, come up yeah. here, sir. I'll That's give you right. a microphone. Exactly. Uh, one good thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly right. Yeah, one, one really good thing, like the gentleman mentioned, is yeah, they can be discharged to a lower level and recharged quite safely and not uh, worry about that cycle life. Um, and the key thing about the voltage out of these batteries is you're probably all used to having a voltmeter, and we've all got one on our four wheel drives, mm -hmm. and we see 14 volts when charging, and then we see 12 and a half, you know, 11, 10 and a half, 9, then our battery's flat. Uh, the lithium battery, as it discharges, will maintain a high voltage, around you know, 12 and a half to you know, 13 volts the whole way until the battery's flat. That's one thing that I've often wondered. I, I, I put the I have a, the old-fashioned method. Yeah. I put a little multimeter on it, and I see that it's up to 13 and a half, 14 yeah. while it's charging. I go, hang on, it's only a 12-volt battery. Am I safe? That, yeah, well, it's, it's very difficult to tell, yeah, because 12-volt yeah. uh, during charging or 12-volt during flat. And um, yeah, a, bat a battery, you can tell a lot by voltage. Yep. And so a 12-volt is, yeah, definitely, it's in the discharge state. It, yep. it could be anywhere between, um, you know, the 50% the and 70% level. There yeah. you go.